Neil has finally done an experiment for me that I've really wanted to see for many, many years. A teaspoon dissolving or melting in a cup of tea. I thought that in joke shops that you could buy a spoon like this that melted in tea. And I've been to some of the leading magic shops in the UK and found nothing. And then a miracle happened. One of our viewers sent us a low melting point alloy. I went out and bought Neil a mold for making spoons. It's actually meant for chocolate, but it worked for this metal. Then there were all sorts of delays, and yesterday we finally decided we should do the experiment. But we've lost the letter, so we don't know chemically what the metal spoon is. But we decided we'd go ahead anyway, and I'm going to have to analyse the spoon to find out what it is. All these metals that melt at low temperature are so-called alloys. They're mixtures of different metals which don't crystallise very well, so at low temperature you can melt them. Much lower temperature than the individual metals. And they usually contain lead, sometimes tin, sometimes cadmium, sometimes indium. And they're named after the people that have discovered them. There's rose alloy, which melts at 98 degrees, which I think is a bit higher than the temperature that Neil was using. I don't think his tea was actually boiling. Then there is wood's metal at 70 degrees, and there's field's metal at 62 degrees centigrade, Celsius if you prefer, which are strong candidates. I seem to remember that the fan who sent us the letter said that the metal contained indium, and if it did, it's probably field's metal, but we'll have to test. The chocolate mould that I had made a sort of spoon, but it didn't look quite as nice as we would have liked. So I encouraged Neil to hammer the spoon to look nicer, but whatever this alloy is, it's very hard and brittle, and eventually he thumped it so hard that it broke. So he had to recast it. So our spoon is not terribly spoon-like. But what's interesting is that as he lowered it into the tea, and he did it properly, there was a tea bag, though he didn't taste the tea. As he lowered it in, it quickly melted and disappeared. And at the bottom, the molten metal looked very like mercury. It's not mercury, but of course, most metals are silver, or many of them, and any silvery liquid metal will look rather like mercury. When Neil decanted the tea, leaving the metal, the metal quickly solidified again because it cooled down. I think the metal's quite toxic, but I don't think any of it will dissolve. This is melting, not dissolving. Just as well, or we would have lost our alloy and would never have been able to analyse it easily. It was really nice to watch. It doesn't have a great scientific purpose, but sometimes there's some scientific phenomena that you've read about and you'd really like to see with your own eyes. So seeing this was really quite exciting.